Guys, today we've got the entire Jordan brand summer lineup. The Travis Scott and Jordan situation. And is Nike and Yeezy actually going to happen? Welcome to Sneaky Sundays, guys. When I said that we do this every single week, I meant it. As you can tell, I'm on the move. I'm in a hotel room at the moment. So you're just going to have to deal with my sunburned face and my somewhat raspy voice because I'm coming down with something. So I can imagine my voice is probably going to break even more than it normally does. Either way, let's get into this release recap, starting with the Jordan 4 sale. These things dropped on Saturday, completely sold out. I did a review. I really like them. This is one that might have flown under the radar for a few people, but it's the New Balance 9060 Sydney's signature collection. This colorway literally looks like the Joe Fresh Goods pair, but just on a 9060. Now, there was also a shock drop for you guys out in the US of three different Jordan 1s. We had the green glows. We had the team red Jordan 1 highs. And probably the best out of the bunch was the shadow lows. They all dropped during the live stream on the Nike sneakers app. Let me know if you got any of these. Uh, if I got access to the freaking shadow lows, I definitely would have copped. That's not the only thing that they dropped during the Nike sneakers app live stream because they also unveiled the entire Jordan brand summer lineup. There's some things that uh, we were expecting and other things that are a little bit more shocking. We, of course, we got the Team Red Jordan 1 High. We got the Air Jordan 1 High Latte, exactly how we pictured it uh, from all of the leaks and the rumors. This one is definitely going to be a pair that a lot of people are after. So the lattes are going to be dropping on the 29th of May. Team Reds, if you didn't get it on the shock drop, those are going to be dropping on the 25th of May. Now, we also got some silver Jordan 1s, or should I say this pair over here looking like straight up tinfoil. They're going to be dropping at some point this summertime. This was a little bit of a surprise. This is the Kodot JP Jordan 1, just literally in a low form. So it has all of the metallic accents and it even has the Jordan Wings logo on the back in that plastic covering. Now we got some Jordan 4s. Of course, we got the Military Blues, which are not actually going to be called the Military Blues. They're now called the Industrial Blue. They're now going to be dropping May the 11th. And I don't know what this name change means because apparently they're supposed to be true to the original. The Jordan 4 Oxidized Green dropping May the 25th. And I've got to be honest, these things look a lot better than all of the rendered images or the mock-ups that we've been seeing. Cool to see that that is going to be a leather pull tab instead of plastic. You've also got the wings on the side of this being leather instead of plastic, which is a nice touch. You've got the reverse Oreo Jordan 6s. This one is going to be dropping June the 8th, apparently, or just sometime summer 2024. 11 Low Space Gems. These are going to be dropping April the 13th. 11 Low Legend Pinks. These are going to be dropping at some point this summertime. The Jordan 12 Red Taxi. So you've just got like a little bit of a red accent on these. They're also going to be a summer 24 release. No specific time in summer. The Dune Red 13s. And then this one, which definitely had a lot of people pretty shocked. This is the Air Jordan 17 Low Lightning that's going to be returning this year. We saw a lot of, uh, you know, leaks and rumors about this pair, but now they're going to cost $300. Yes, they do come with the briefcase, which is, I guess, something you can kind of be like, yeah, we get a briefcase. But at the end of the day, they're still $300 for a pair of 17 lows. All right, moving on, but sticking with Jordans. This one's a little bit weird. Uh, so you know that $1,000 Jordan Wings pack that's going to be dropping? Well, apparently they're now going to be exclusive to China. Oh, this pack over here officially launched so you can see all of the different colorways that they're doing. A very, very minimal pack. Um, literally just all over white colorways. And then you've got the pony hair ones over here in all over black. It does definitely look like it has the giant Nike swoosh, which I think is something that a lot of people do really like on a pair of ones. So got a clothing capsule as well. Some of this stuff over here, which I imagine is also going to cost an insane amount. Apparently like the materials when it comes to some of the clothing is like cashmere and silks and like super high end materials. Even got some accessories, got a little wallet, you've got a little card holder, and you've also got this, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. Rings, maybe Got another little bag, which actually looks pretty sick. These are going to be dropping this month exclusively in Beijing. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe people out there are spending a lot more on Jordans. I don't know. If, you, if you're from there, if you know, let me know down in the comment section. Another Jordan 1 that we're getting very, very soon, of course, is the Trophy Room Air Jordan 1. We've got official images now. So these are going to be dropping this month on the 21st. Take a look at them over here. Uh, again, a pair of shoes that we've taken a look at on the channel. I really like them. I just really doubt that they're going to be something that's attainable for most 
most people. There's probably a lot of them that have already been backdoored, let's just be honest here. But it's a nice pair of shoes and I really, really like the concept of it. I like that it's inspired by the, the Fleer trading card, uh, which I just think like they played, especially the box and everything, so well into that theme. Also on the 21st of March, it's gonna be the Nike Dunk Low Kodot JP Plum colorway that's dropping. Uh, these are already loaded up to the Nike sneaker app. This is a pair of shoes which I think a lot of people will really like that they're coming back and a lot of people do want them. However, personally, I'm good on these. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this colorway in general, but at least you now know when they're dropping. So some of you guys love this pair of shoes, so I thought I'd remind you of the actual release date that we just got an update on. And of course, I'm talking about these freaking Jordan 1 UNC mules over here, the ones they just chopped the back off of. Yeah, so these things are also dropping March the 21st. Some people absolutely hate these things and wish that they did didn't even see them in the first place. Some people kind of like them. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This one's pretty interesting. So you guys remember that uh, Futura Labs and Crocs did a little collaboration, super limited to I think like 500 or a thousand pairs. Well, obviously those sold out, reselling for a ton, hardly anybody got them, but now they're doing an actual collection with a bunch of different options. On the 14th of March, right around the corner, they're gonna be dropping a couple different pairs. This green one is one of them with a bunch of different gibbets on the top, which is actually pretty cool. We've also got this white color way, which I think is probably my favorite. Nice, easy to rock, solid pair. And you've got some other little gibbets to stick on the top as well, which look pretty mad. This is definitely something that a lot of people are gonna be after. We've actually got two different release dates. FaturaLaboratories.com is gonna be dropping them on March the 11th, along with the network app. And then that's followed by a wider release, which I think is what most people are gonna go for, which is Crocs.com on March the 14th. Right, this one's really confusing. Not entirely sure what to make of it, but uh, remember last week we spoke about this pair of Air Maxes, the Nike Air Max Day Specials. Suddenly we started seeing it with this vault green midsole and we were like, damn, I kind of wish that it was just white. Apparently this is actually going to happen, but we're also going to be getting just the regular white midsole one, at least what a lot of people are saying. Like we've now got official images of these things already. So I think that there's gonna be two. This one is kind of like the OG one with the Nike branding on the tongue. Pretty cool. I know that a lot of people were disappointed to see that there was this vault midsole. People just wanted the white midsole pair. Yeah, we're getting both pairs again March 26th, which is Air Max Day. But I'd mention this because it's just so outrageous and uh, kind of what do we expect at this point, but uh, Mischief and Timberland are teaming up to drop the two by four boot. Basically what you're looking at or what it looks like is a pair of Timberlands with the freaking outsole on top as well. So you've got like the outsole on the bottom and then the outsole on the top as well for like the toe box and then up on the tongue. Not gonna lie, I think this is great. I love these things. However, would I wear them? No, I probably would not. By the way, these are $400. So that's literally the price of a big red boot and they're dropping March the 19th. Quick update, we got the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance 1000 that's gonna be dropping. We spoke about these, I believe, last week. So new release date is April 2024. We don't know exactly when in April, just at some point. Also got some new images of these things, some complete images. So we've got two different colorways that's gonna be dropping. Uh, this is the Pink Mink colorway. And then we've also got my personal favorite, the Black Ice colorway. Definitely an interesting model to choose. I think that it's pretty cool. It's definitely a retro, retro sneaker from New Balance. But yeah, interested to see if these things catch on. Sticking with New Balance and a release right around the corner, Kith. They're gonna be dropping a 1906R. This is something that we have spoke about in the past. However, now we've got more images and of course a release date. So March the 11th is when both of these colorways are dropping. We've got like a all over black and gold with a sail blue and goldish color. Two pretty solid colorways. I gotta be honest, I do prefer the white pair or the sail pair, whatever we're calling this one. We got a little bit of Yeezy news before the other Yeezy news. So let's kick it off with uh, what dropped. Adidas is currently releasing Yeezys. We know that we had the 350s, which Ye called out saying that they're fake, do not buy them. And it seems like a lot of people listened because those things are still sitting on the app to this day. But after that release, Adidas then loaded up a pair of foam runners, this dark onyx colorway. Uh, and also a pair of Yeezy slides. So the foam runners sold out and that's kind of to be expected. A lot of people wanted those things, but the Yeezy slides, arguably the most popular Adidas Yeezy to date, is still available on the app. This is the Adidas confirmed app. All of those sizes are still available. So if I wanted a pair of these things, 
I could just click on it, enter Q, and you go into checkout, just like that. Now that is pretty insane, and to me it seems like a very clear indication that a lot of people who were fans of Adidas and Yeezy were obviously fans of Yeezy himself. Now I think that it is a combination of that and then also the fact that this was a very, very high stock release. And according to this page over here on IG, they said that there was a million pair of Yeezy slides, which I'm not entirely sure, that seems a little bit much. Regardless of the number though, it's clear that there was a lot of pairs. I put a poll up on Instagram asking if people are buying the new Yeezys or if they're completely passing and the vast majority said that they're passing. In fact, it was 64% to copying 36%. Total amount of votes was 20,000. So yeah, there's a lot of people that are passing on these, which I guess would have normally copped. I think it's kind of like a bunch of different factors all combined together have left these things still available. Now we've also got some upcoming draws that are still available on the Nike sneakers app, which are ending on March the 11th. Uh, first one is this one, I think for you guys just out in the US, the 350 V2 Flax, which was a bit of a surprise, like, damn, they still got this pair lying around? We're not getting this one in the EU or the UK, what we're getting is this pair of 500s, the Stone Salt. So let me know if you guys out in the US are getting this pair as well. The question I have about all of this stuff is like, Ye specifically posted about the Steel Grey 350s, he didn't post about any of the other shoes, so I really wonder if maybe Adidas is not not paying him for that pair of 350s, but they're still paying him for the rest of it. Because even according to a lot of the documents for who owns the designs for some of these shoes, the Yeezy slide is still a pair that Ye actually owns. So surely he's making money on that. Either way, moving on. Uh, Nike and Drake just revealed their next sneaker, which, uh, listen guys, you may think that I'm out of my mind, but I really like these things. This is the Nike Hot Step Air Terra 2. Maybe this orange color is a little bit much, especially with a chromed out little vent on the side, but apart from that in a different colorway, I'm grabbing these. The lines in the upper, this looks so freaking cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Yeezy 1050 boot with those lines that were in the upper. Retail for $200, they're gonna be dropping this summertime at some point. So remember a couple episodes back, we were talking about the brand new Jordan 4 RM or remastered version. We just got some updated looks from Nigel Sylvester, Nike's very own BMX athlete, and he's got them on, he's wearing them. It's led a lot of people to speculate like, is this gonna be a new flagship Jordan model or is this going to be a Nigel Sylvester collaboration and you can't really see too much obviously he's on a bike but uh, this is interesting to say the least like what is the whole story behind the remastered version of this Jordan 4 like is it for biking for skating I just think it's going to be interesting to hear the whole idea behind this pair uh, either way they're slated to drop this holiday season in a full family size run all right let's talk about Travis Scott because I've had just so many freaking questions from people asking me like what the hell has happened to the Travis Scott Jumpman Jack it's been cancelled, at least on March the 5th. But these were supposed to be dropping March the 5th, that's what I said in my review, that's what all of the leakers were saying, uh, however, they actually got pushed back. New release date is April. It was a bit of a surprise because this colorway specifically dropped on Travis Scott's website, I believe February sometime, like early February. People have already been sent this pair of shoes, all of like these promo pairs have been floating around online. Apparently the latest date that we have as of right now is April the 30th. Again, if we get any more updates, I will let you guys know. Uh, and then the second colorway, which was supposed to be dropping on April 30th, is now going to be dropping in May. It's happening May the 1st. So I'm not sure why these two release dates of both the sale colorway and this one seem to be so close together. Surely they'll separate it a little bit, but yeah, either way, both of these shoes should be dropping very, very soon. We've now got a lot more information of the upcoming hybrid Soleil Benberry Croc shoe. So this is it over here. We've got three colorways. They're going to be dropping March the 21st, so relatively soon. I initially was like, oh, it's, I mean, it's not that crazy. It's just Soleil Benberry midsole with the Crocs upper, but, you know, seeing them on foot, I can kind of get it. They don't look too bad. They're dropping March the 21st, that's through beasponge.com. However, are supposed to have another release through crocs.com later down the road. We've got some detailed looks at the upcoming Air Jordan 3 J Balvin collaboration. This is the Rio colorway or the all-over black pair. We've also got a release date for them, which is May the 22nd. They're going to retail for 200 
$150. I don't think I prefer them to the sale one, but still a solid colorway. You can see they come with that same hang tag. Uh, you've got a yellow Jumpman branding, some extra laces, and they're looking pretty cool. Let me know what you think of these down in the comments. Got a brand new The Verdi Nike SB Dunk Low that's going to be dropping this summertime. Take a look at these wild things, which I believe is uh, heavily inspired by the Union kind of collaboration that they did uh, with the little like plush toy. And personally, not something I would wear, I don't think. Probably not one for me, but I think they're going to be very, very limited and hard to get. Uh, either way, they are going to be coming in a full family size run. Again, they're dropping this summertime, no exact release date, but let me know what you think about these wild things down in the comments. Some actual images of the upcoming Nike SB Dunk Low Olympic. This one is dropping also summer 2024. We got some on foot shots, but like some pretty rough suede looking material on the toe box, the medial panels, uh, and then you've got the speckling all around the pair of shoes, which is nice. Blue laces contrast it surprisingly well. All right, let's get into probably one of the craziest stories that has been going around. Of course, we're talking about Ye, uh, his Yeezy brand, and Nike. For a while now, Ye has been walking around in a lot of different Nike products. At first, we kind of thought it was a little bit of a joke, you know, a little stab at, at Adidas. It was this video going around, you know, he was laughing, it was kind of a joke, he was wearing these black Air Force Ones. Of course, a lot of people were talking about this, but it didn't seem very serious. But then he started wearing a lot more Nike. So here he's got those black Air Forces again, and he's got Nike gloves. You've even got some comments over here. There has to be something in the works again with Nike. No way he casually advertises their product. And then more recently, this image popped up the other day. Uh, he's wearing a new $20 hoodie, which we'll get into in a minute, but he's wearing another pair of black Air Force Ones. This time it's a high and it's got a white Nike swoosh. After people saw this, it immediately spiraled the internet into complete conspiracies talking about how uh, potentially Ye is going to be teaming up with Nike once again. If you had to ask me, I cannot see a Yeezy and Nike collaboration anytime soon. I just feel like Nike is too big and too brand friendly, if that makes sense, to ever team up with Ye again. Like they freaking dropped Kyrie for much less. However, I'm not gonna lie, him wearing all of this Nike stuff is a little bit strange. Historically speaking, whenever Ye wears something, it typically ends up coming to fruition. That's how he would promote all of his Yeezy sneakers with Adidas. He would wear them, different prototypes, and then they would end up launching in the future. The Yeezy socks, he was wearing them for ages different versions, different prototypes, they eventually released as well. You look at it like that, it, I mean, I don't know, it seems absolutely wild, but who knows? This could actually be the start of a Nike and Yeezy reunion. And if that was the case, this would be insane. This would break the internet. This would be the biggest sneaker release uh, in a very, very long time. But of course, in the same vein, he is still on a campaign of completely just going out against Adidas. Let me know down in the comment section if you think that Ye would ever team up with Nike again. Would we see more Nike Yeezy? So now we're not done with Yeezy news just yet because we do have some more Yeezy products loaded up to the $20 website, which now literally has a $20 bill as its heading. Uh, but we've got a new hoodie. This one over here, a gray hoodie, which looks relatively simple, but of course it is just $20. So, I mean, it seems like a bit of a bargain if you ask me. Although a lot of people have been talking about this text, which uh, according to the internet has some kind of tie into Satan, which would be, I mean, that's a complete 180 for Yeezy. Either way, there's a t-shirt over here as well. You've also got some sweatpants for $20 as well. Uh, then you've also got some socks and it's like, cool, yeah, amazing, $20 hoodie. But then you're like, oh, $20 socks, that's a little bit steep. Either way, what this does show, even if you don't like this gray hoodie, is that there is gonna be a lot more $20 products. Uh, a lot of people are speculating we're gonna get some of that Yeezy Gap Balenciaga stuff coming soon. Stay tuned for content while I'm out here. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode. Like I said, we do Sneaky Sundays every single week, so subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay in the loop with all of the latest sneaker news, sneaker leaks and rumors, all of it. And if you wanna check out those Jumpman Jacks before they drop next month, click that video over there.